Hey guys, so with your help, I've built this channel up around Classic WoW over the last year. Now, our community of tree-hugging druids has blossomed into something much larger than I originally had planned or really even expected. Now, back in 2005, Classic WoW for many of us was, you know, our first look at an MMO. And some would say that Classic WoW and TBC is really where MMOs took off and companies started trying to emulate what Classic WoW and TBC were able to accomplish. You know, from Classic WoW, I and many of you tried a lot of those touted WoW killers, such as Rift, Warhammer, and Guild Wars. Game after game came and went, and the idea for some players, and the hope for some players, was that one of these games would definitely be that WoW killer but fewer and fewer companies were willing to continue to try and develop MMOs, and many players turned to quitting the genre altogether. Word of Guild Wars 2 caught my attention, and I was lucky enough to get access to Early Alpha to test their extensive PvP system. I remember all the hype around their PvP system back in the day. They had promises of esports and big dreams uh, that were shared by many people in the community. I personally played constantly to tr try and develop my skills that were needed to compete with some of the best. Now, without raiding and the lack of dedicated healers in the game, I believe it really pushed some players away. And while Guild Wars 2 still does have a loyal following, it's just nowhere near where many players hoped it would be in the MMO space. Now fast forward to Wildstar. Just saying Wildstar, a lot of people tend to cringe. Uh, again, with Wildstar, I found myself extremely lucky to get into early alpha testing with the guild Death and Taxes. And yep, that's right, that's the same Death and Taxes that is known from early World of Warcraft. Now, we directly worked with their dev team to make 40-man raids within Wildstar truly challenging. I really enjoyed Wildstar and honestly just being able to be a part of the early development of Wildstar as a guild that was helping out with developing raiding, uh, I truly am lucky. And I really do believe that a lot of Wildstar's core design around the game was solid. However, the hardcore leveling, the really unique combat style, and much of the game being back behind attunements and other kind of gates, I think it left a lot of players less than thrilled. And for me, looking back on Wildstar, I can honestly say that I really did have a blast with that game, and still to this day, I can't really pinpoint why it fizzled out so quickly. But moving on from Wildstar, we're back kind of where we were at the beginning. We're back with Classic WoW. We're back where it all started for most of us. But really, where does it go from here? Do we all just continue to play WoW, except that it is that this is as good as it's going to get? Do we look forward to the possibility of TBC in the future? Well, this is just me being honest. Classic WoW is tons of fun. It was fun, it is fun, but it's a little tired. It's been done, it's been redone, and it's been done some more. And with TBC on the horizon, it's kind of the same. It's going to be the same TBC that we had years ago. Will you go with Aldor, or are you going to go with the Scryers? Will you farm moats here, or are you going to farm moats there? Now, don't get me wrong, I'm going to jump into TBC just like many of you will, but it's definitely not my first choice. My first choice is a game that makes me feel that rush of excitement that only a new unexplored game can really capture. Like my first days of playing Rift, where hundreds of adventurers were running around, we were all destroying rifts, doing quests, and just exploring a brand new world. Or those first few weeks of Guild Wars 2, where I was running around doing jump puzzles, leveling up new weapons, and just trying to get 100% completion in some of these brand new zones that were full of unique and unexplored content. Now, MMO fans have been burned time and time again by false promises and new launch disasters. But for me, honestly, sometimes just getting hyped up for a new game can be enough fun. 
even if it doesn't quite deliver on all of its promises. So that leads me to where I am now. Most of my hype right now is focused all around Ashes of Creation. Now to be fair, I've been following this game since 2019, and I believe that the first time I learned about it was from one of those most exciting MMOs coming out in 2020 type video. I created an account shortly after that and tuned into some of their developer updates to see how the game was going. Now if we fast forward all the way to earlier this month, you and I have seen some pretty big updates and even bigger discussions happening on Twitch with the likes of Asmongold, Shroud, and Summit. So while this game has been kind of thrust into the limelight of Twitch, I wanted to take this moment to tell you that I personally will be creating Ashes content in the future. Now, because I signed up for Ashes uh, quite a while ago, I do have alpha access as I bought into the project back then. Uh, and I would like to take this opportunity to let you know that I will be streaming content of Ashes and making videos of Ashes in the future. So don't worry, WoW content's not going anywhere, but I am letting you know that in the future, Ashes of Creation content will also be here on this channel. Even if it doesn't have druids. Even with the lack of a shape-shifting druid-type class, I do have really high hopes for this game. It has robust social features from, you know, kings to mares, religions, housing, and really in-depth professions. And also this game is funded by its founder and some private investors, which really does mean that it doesn't answer to, you know, shareholders or suits who really know nothing about gamers. <laughs> Cough, Activision. So, also one of the biggest and most promising things about this game, in my opinion, is just the overall progress that you can see the game has taken over the last year, over the last several years, I should say, and really all the talented, experienced staff that has been working on it day in, day out for all these years. Now, if you really want to see this firsthand, I encourage you all to go look at Ashes of Creation's YouTube channel, and you can really just look at how far the game has evolved over the years, and how far the team has come, and how they really do care about interacting with the community. And on that note, guys, this is where this video is going to end. I obviously encourage all of you who are interested in Ashes of Creation to go ahead and use my referral code in the description as that will kind of give me somewhat of an idea of how many of you would be interested in me coming out with more content around Ashes. And also, don't worry, Classic WoW stuff is not going anywhere. We have AQ40 coming out just in a few days. Uh, we have the war effort and all that stuff. So I definitely have more WoW content coming. Some new real life stuff as well. I just went camping recently. Want to show you some of that footage. So as always, guys, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.